the puppies are now four weeks old today. I got a bit of cleaning up to do. Sorry, you've probably seen a little bit of number two here. But they are actually now off the puppy porridge. And what I did is I brought in water. It's their first time having straight water. So that was brought in. Sorry about the huge mess. <laughs> they are now on hard food. There's five bowls of hard food and then five bowls of watered down kibble. So, so they have straight hard food available to them now and then watered down hard food. But not the puppy porch slash gruel. They are officially done with. And we're gonna have some big messes, especially for week, all of week four, I think. Once they start to understand that them tipping the bowls is going to do this, like the last group, hopefully like the last group, they'll catch on that, okay, we can't like put our paws in the bowls, but we'll see, we'll see. No. They're just gonna nap here and I'm gonna get ready to tidy up their bedroom here now of any number two. And I'm also gonna put a pee pad down by the door because we're gonna start them on the pee pad as well. All right, if pee pad is now placed on as well, Nala is here. Still trying to wean off the puppies. But no, we'll see if they use it and try to get them directed over to using it. So that's gonna be interesting, but no, no. Maybe. 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 Nope. Maybe. Nope. <laughs> oh my. We'll see anyway. Maybe one of them will use it today. Still very new to them. And they gotta be taught as well, so. All in good time. Good job! You peed on the very edge, but good job, Flynn. You were the first to use the pee pad. Oh, you got a number with mommy now. <laughs> good job, Flynn. Big mess made of that lunch here now. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Lots of food to clean up on the floor. Again. Yeah. So the main thing is they're eating it. They like it. So that's all good. No, that's not nice. No. Stop it, Dodger. Not nice. Do you guys see their teeth? You might be able to see Arlo's teeth there now, but yeah, they definitely have their teeth. Well, some of them have, they have some of their teeth, I should say. <laughs> oh my.
floors all mopped and clean. And I've been debating back and forth if this week I was going to take out both the blankets and just have their little beds in here or leave them one blanket this week with their beds. And I've decided I'll leave them, I'll still have one blanket remaining in here. And I've just taken out the blanket that's on this side just because now with all their water and food dishes going on this wall here, it's just creating a huge mess. So I'm going to leave one blanket down and have their beds placed over here. But all their food and water is up as you can see now, except this water, I'm leaving this down just so they have access to water. But all the other dishes have been taken up from the wall just because after seven, I like to cut it off. <laughs> get your bedtime snack later with some food, okay? <laughs> teddy in amongst all the teddies. Hey, Teddy. Say Teddy in amongst all the teddies. You got these three over here who are always over here, which is Ellie and Copper. And while Tink's going over here, please use on the P pad. No part of it. She seems to still not really want part of it. <coughs> no. All right, Miss Lay, did you want to go out, honey? Like Layla is bulldozing me to get out. And there goes the puppy. <laughs> oh, I gotta grab her. That's Belle. The puppies really seem to enjoy too when the older ones are in here with them. It's almost like it's a real family. Like Nala is their family, yes, but when the girls come in, it's really, I don't know. There's just something different about it. It's just really amazing to watch. It's adorable to watch certain puppies gravitate towards certain ones of the girls and I don't know. It's it's absolutely amazing to watch. It's absolutely amazing. And like I said earlier, I'm keeping a very close eye on Miss Ariel in here. As much as she loves it in here, I also know she just had surgery yesterday, so I don't want her to overexert herself and I don't want one of the puppies to accidentally get where her incision is too, as you can see. So I'm just trying to keep an eye on that as well. What do you have? You have some teething rings? Yeah. Some teething rings where you have your teeth coming in?
Claire's just over here chilling. The two of the puppies and playing with one of their toys. Layla's still iffy. I don't know, Layla's really, really nervous anyway. So this has her, I don't know. I don't know. So Layla, I just, she's another one I wanna keep an eye on because she does get a little jumpy. And just to make sure that she doesn't hurt herself or one of the puppies. So and keeping a close eye on Layla as well. And she's not intentionally trying to do it. She's just, like I said, she's just nervous. really good sign she's laid down seeming a bit more comfortable I think when the puppies get a little too close and personal is what makes Layla a little nervous and unsure but no. <laughs> yeah, Layla <laughs> you're being silly Layla you <laughs> chilling with the pups are watching you and they said she is silly. <laughs> Belle is there playing with Claire's tail. Uh, don't tear up their bed Layla honey okay. Thank you. Climbing on Claire there now. And Belle is still playing with her tail. Like, I just want to get on your back, sis. Big sis, I just want to get on your back. Claire's like, well, I don't want that right now. It's bad enough I got one chewing my tail. I don't want someone climbing on my back. Now that is their toy. Oh. Teddy, no. Do not do that, okay? Don't do that, that's not nice. And don't worry, I'm not like grasps, grasping on his little mouth hard. It's just enough a gentle, just to keep him from biting. Hey buddy, don't be doing it, okay? It's not nice. Oh my. <laughs> hmm. 
Nala. Is it nice having some help, Nala, from your big girls? Because they're your big girls now, aren't they? Ignore the <laughs> the shoes. I not shoes. Sorry, but the what are these called? Not sandals. Slippers. Ignore the slippers. They're in rough shape and. Literally, this is what I have to wear in here because there's pee pee and poo poo. So I'm not going wearing nice shoes in their nursery. That's a definite not. I'm definitely not gonna do that. Nice clear bear. I'm watching her. I'm watching her, Ariel. Need you worry. Don't worry, honey, okay? I'm gonna make sure she doesn't get out your incision. I'm right here. Okay? Right here. Determined. Oh no, that's Tink now. Tink is trying to climb up on Claire's back. So you get Tink trying to climb up on Claire now. All the others are starting to fall asleep. You still have a few on the move. Pretty much the girls are on the move. And I guess because the big big sissies are in here now. Because they're like pulling on Claire's fur and licking it. Oh my. <laughs> no, Layla is getting a lot more comfortable, which is nice to see. She's like, what the heck? Did she just swipe one of our toys? Did she just swipe one of your toys, Ellie? I think she did. All of the pups are pretty well settled now, except Tink. Tink is the only one on the move, and Claire is telling her, get off my back. I don't want you up there. That is too high for you, little one. So I guess Tink is gonna go over now, hopefully. Hopefully. No, she's going where Ariel's to now. Which I gotta keep a close eye on, because Ariel has, an, has stitches. <laughs> now hopefully she goes to sleep soon because she is the only one awake right now and the girls are pretty much telling her like listen it's bedtime do not be crawling all over us you're too tiny so hopefully she makes her way over soon to go to sleep with her siblings There we go. 
though. She's climbing over in that bed. There we go. So as soon as they fall asleep, me and the bigger girls are out of here <laughs> for a bit as they have their, has their snooze. It's 9.46 right now. So we're just waiting for all of them to get in a half decent deep sleep before we up and move. Because if we up and move when they're still drifting, they'll get up and swarm the gate. So I literally wait till they're good and asleep. So I'll wait a little bit and then we will head out. Hey girls, so the girls, they just patiently wait. <laughs> it's a bit warm in here because of the fireplace, so they are panting a bit, but we won't be in here too, too long. Just enough for, like I said, them to get in a half deep sleep. So I can flick out the light. They'll have their little fire flight, firefly light on once I shut the light off, so there's a bit of light in here still for them. But yeah, just a waiting game now. 